Hello guys, welcome to the Git, Bitbug Kit and Sochi Training Code. And today, the first day, I would like to talk about how to create an account on the Bitbug Kit uh, website. Okay, so basically, when you are working in a software project team, so you need to have a space to keep the short code and share it to another one in the team. And the Bitbug Kit is uh, your website, I mean the cloud base. So it will fully fully support for you to do the commit short code to the cloud. And after that, another guy in your team can get the code from the cloud into the PC for continue coding. Okay, so I think when you have a uh, take a look into the Bibber kit in another video later, so you, you will know how uh, how to manage it. Okay, so let's get started for today by creating a new account on the Bibber kit website. Okay, open your web browser and you access into the bitbucket.org website. Okay, so you can see here we have a lot of information to introduce the bitbucket. You can take a look into here to know what is the bitbucket, how to use it. Okay, so on the top right here you have a get started button. You click on this one to do the registration on a new account. Click on it. And on the page to do the create or the account, so you have to provide your email in order to create it. You enter your email and click on continue button to submit. It is verify. Verifying and after that. Okay, so you can see here uh, the message is we meet again. So that it means this email already have an uh, Alassian account on the website. So maybe I will use this email to do the registration for an Alassian account before. So now you you still not you haven't read it, the email on this website and anytime so you will get an email confirmation in your mailbox and after that you should follow it to do the to active the account okay because for now i already i already have an account on alasian here so i click on the sign up with your alasian account to do the registration on the bitbucket The Bitbucket website, uh, this one is the try or uh, the subside of the Alassian. And Alassian, it is uh, it also have some another another product called it is Zira. I think when you are working on a software project, so you you will be using the Zira a lot of time. Okay, so now here on this page, we have to uh, create a a uh, 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 username on the bitbucket cloud so i will create it in tmbf submitting yeah when you see the green tick here uh, it means you are using the the, the, the name Okay, so you can see here the account has been created and now you are able to uh, you can see here we have a dashboard which contains some of the information to create a repository and also create a team for the project. Okay, cool. Dashboard here. For now, we have no project on on this uh, repository. Okay, so you can view the profile here. Setting.
overview speed team setting chain avatar Hmm. Cannot change avatar for now. Back to the bit bucket. Oh, it's slowly. Okay, I think no need to change the avatar for now. I will back to the bit bucket. Okay, so on the dashboard here you can see on the left side we have a menu the first one is a, an overview you can take a look into here for for the dashboard information and underneath of the overview we have a repository here so uh, when you uh, when you create any repository here we will help you to keep the short code on the cloud so if you read all of the read a listing of the repository here and also we have the project here and what is the difference between the projects and repository okay so uh, you, you, you can understand the project is a parent of the repository okay so for example when you are creating a new project you call it is a .NET project and when you create a repository, I, I think you, you call it the uh, pro uh, project uh, repository one. So the repository one will be, uh, we are using the .NET and C -SAP to do the coding. So it should be either, either, either repository, it is included in the project, the .NET project. I mean either sub or uh, uh, you can call it a sub um, uh, sub project in the donut project or you can call it either chai project of the donut project okay so when you create a repository to it is also donut so you have to include it into the donut project as well okay so because uh f for now you, you if you don't have many project uh on on the video kit at the same time so you can create the re repository and no need to assign the project for it but when we when you have a lot of project on the uh, on the cloud so you should create uh, the project and assign repository into the project so it will be, will be easier for you to manage it, to manage it later. Okay. So now, finally, I have to click on the project here to create a new project. Okay. So before you create a new project, you have to create a team. So the team will be the owner of the project. Okay, so I will back to the main. I will click on the plus button here to do the to create. I can create repository, team, project, and snippet. I will create team. I will call it a team. Okay, done. So good, I will create project. I will name it either .net project. And the key will be automatically created here by on the name of project. You can enter some information for decoration here. 
Okay, so here when you uh, check the checkbox here, this is a private project, so meaning uh, no one on the internet can see this project. Uh, well, if, an, if anyone want to view the project here, you have to add them into the project. Okay, create project. Yes, so now click on the dashboard and you click on the project here. So now we have a donut project has been created. And now you click on the repository here. You can click on create repository. You select the okay, so by default it will select the account name here. It is main account for this one, but when you select the owner is a main account, you cannot assign the project uh, for this repository. You have to select the team here and you can select the .NET project for this. I will name it the one you can enter you can enter some information here by default I will uh, select the repository type in git decryption she checking select language if you know what is language we are using for this project so you can select it here so for now I will select the C -SAP. Click on create repository button to create a new repository. Okay, cool. You can see here you have just created a new uh, repository. There is a sub project of the .NET project here. Okay, so now we have nothing added on into this uh, repository and overview you can you should uh, finally you should create a readme file click on this one and here in the readme uh, file here you can enter some of the information to introduce your project or some other or some other information like how to how to build the project and what is the software we need to have uh, we need to set up on the PC in, in order to run the project on the Windows PC or something like that. Okay, so now I will wrap it by default with the default text here. I click on commit button to do the first commit. Yeah, you can leave some the message for the commit here. I will give it by default and click on commit button to do the action. Okay, cool. After you submit, uh, after you create a new readme file for this uh, project, so you can see here we we have a lot of information here. You are able to add new another member into this project to work with you at the same time. And here, you can see here, we have two per uh, two two value under the list of the drop down list here. The first one is https and the second one is at at at. So this one is a URL. You can copy this URL and clone this shortcode from the cloud into the local PC. Okay, so I will talk it in another video later. And today we just talk about an overview, an overview of the Bitbucket. Okay. And 
we have some another information here is such this one is the contain the source code of the project and the commit when you click on the commit here you can see the lead of uh, the history of commitment to the project and branches here so now i will talk it in another video later but here if you have uh if you have many branches on the project here so it will display on this page and the pull request here so when you working in a team so we have a lot of people working on the project uh when uh when we have uh for example in a team you have a senior member and also some another junior member and when the junior member finish the coding so they will we don't allow they commit the code directly to the uh, master or the development brand so it did a commit directly the code to the brand so they have to create pull request to do the uh, code review for the uh, and after the senior member do the review code and if the code is okay so th they they will approve it to merge into the uh, development brand or something like that okay pylight here we will talk it later issue we can create some issue here on for checking download bot and setting you, you you can do the setting for this project we have a lot of information here okay okay so i think that's all for today see you in another video later Bye-bye.